Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel this week, we've been talking about and following a bug that has hit Windows PCs dual booting with Linux, where after installing the August uh, 2024 Windows security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 that were released on the 13th, 14th of August, depending on your region, uh, you might face issues with booting Linux if you have enabled the dual boot setup for Windows and Linux in your device, according to reports, feedback, and also according to Microsoft. Now, as I mentioned uh, in the video I posted on this yesterday, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information, or you'd just like to connect the, connect the dots. Resulting from this issue, your device might fail to boot and will show the error message which is this error message. Now go check that video out for more info. But just to let you know now that um, Microsoft has given us more information about fixing um, the issue on affected systems. So if you are dual booting Windows and Linux and your Linux machine cannot boot into Linux, then there is a new workaround that you can try according to Microsoft. And I have seen one or two comments on the channel asking for a more kind of detailed guide on how to do this. So. Um, I'll leave this known issues health dashboard page with all the the um, steps for the workaround. I'll leave this, this linked down below in the description for easy access and reference. Now here's the workaround and the first part of this workaround we spoke about yesterday. So if you are dual boot in Linux and you haven't finalized the installation um, update with a reboot yet, then you can try adding this registry key. Now go check that video out for more info as mentioned. So if you have applied the August 2024 Windows update, if your Linux becomes unbootable after installing um, the update or later updates, you can now recover your Linux system by following these instructions. Okay, so you need to disable dual, sorry, you need to disable secure boot. Here are the steps. You need to delete the SBAT update. Here are the steps. You need to verify SBAT revocations. The same applies. Then you need to re-enable Secure Boot. There are the steps. And then you need to check Secure Boot status and the same applies. And um, if you want to prevent future SBAT updates in Windows, then once again you add that registry, registry key we spoke about yesterday. And Microsoft says at this point you should now be able to boot into Linux or Windows as before. It's a good time to install any, any pending Linux updates to ensure your device and your system is secure. And once again, they are still investigating this issue and will provide an update with more information is available. And here are the affected platforms as mentioned. So I'm just keeping you posted because I know there have been one or two comments asking for a more in-depth workaround. And that's the workaround and the fix according to Microsoft until the issue is resolved, hopefully sooner than later, with an official bug fix from Microsoft. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.